So welcome to the update of the world's cutest French Bulldog puppy, little Ben right here. Things have been going pretty good over the last few weeks, so we're going to tell you all about it after we can get him to go outside. Even though he doesn't really want to right now, he seems pretty content doing what he's doing. So we're going to start this video off by bringing him outside just to go to the bathroom. And this is something we have to do a lot because he's always trying to go to the bathroom. Because if we don't, he's going to go inside the house. He is not trained yet and it's kind of difficult because he has like a fear of going up and down our stairs. And right now we're going to show you what it's like when we bring him to a set of stairs. We cannot get him to come up the stairs just yet. He just doesn't have confidence to be able to make it up. I've gotten kind of up the stairs by like getting going on the first one, but he usually just sits here and barks at us. I've and never so, done this though, he might come because I'm on the floor. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on, come, on. come upstairs. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Come, on. come here, baby. Do it. Come. Do it. Come. Do it. <gasps> All right, there's one step. That's one come step. Boy. Come on, go on, come on. Boy. You can do it. Don't fall, please don't fall. Two come steps. Boy. Come on. Come boy. Come on, bud, you're almost there. <laughs> Look how slow focus, focus. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> That's the first you time did. he's actually come upstairs. I can't believe we did it on camera. Impressive. Now, let's make him go downstairs. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Come on, come downstairs. I'm not gonna do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't fall. Come on. Come on. One sec. But look, if we go up there and we grab his harness and just give him a little bit of a nudge on the way down, just a little bit. Now, go ahead, Lise, come down. He goes down like a pro. <laughs> so it's just ridiculous. I, I just I just don't fully understand what he's going on. Oh, and that's his thing, too. Uh, no. The ultimate no. shoe chewer. When we bring him to the bike shop, he has a lot of fun playing with the guys in the back, but he also enjoys chewing on their shoes while they are working up front at the computers. <laughs> He's grown so much, not only you know physically, but also just his characteristics as a dog. He's gained so much confidence, like borderline too much confidence. He tries to like be a tough guy with everything he does. He pretty much tries to fight everything at this point. Anything that he possibly can challenge, he challenges right now, and it's kind of annoying. Because <laughs> every time that my wife is trying to clean up, he goes after all the brooms, he goes after all the mops, everything like that. He just turns it into some sort of like game. But I just think it's because he's a little guy and he's just trying to hold his own. As he gets older, we're gonna make sure that that doesn't happen. And it's cute right now since he's a puppy, but I don't want him to kind of get crazy and kind of get aggressive as he gets older. It's the last thing that we want. But everything is a game right now. That's all he wants to do is play, which I totally get. He's only a puppy. It makes complete sense. But there's times where I'm just trying to walk around and he'll jump and grab onto my shoe and bite it and hold it. And uh, I've almost tripped and fallen because of him. It's definitely been uh, kind of scary. He's teething a lot right now. So right now he's trying to chew everything he possibly can. As you guys can tell, there's a big difference in size compared to the first time that we got him. Uh, I don't know the exact weight. We gotta get a we gotta get a, a scale to figure that one out. I think that's the next thing we gotta do. We have a scale anywhere? So my wife's gonna step on it, but she doesn't want you guys to see her weight right now. You're actually saying it out loud? 138 minus, they don't need to know, oh, they're gonna find out. Huh? Yeah, as soon as you say how much he weighs. <laughs> all right, yeah, they're gonna all know my weight. I don't care. 16.2, that's amazing. When we first got him, our weight after bringing him to the vet, like probably like a day after the video, was like 10.7. So that's pretty solid increase right there. It's, I mean, you can clearly see how much bigger he is. He's in a training class of three times a week right now. And my wife is finally at the point where she's learning with, with him as well and starting to teach him. You can see in this clip right here where he's walking around in front of our house. You can see my wife is holding onto the leash, making sure that he stays on the side. And as soon as she comes to a stop, she tells him to stop and he sits down. And it's a, it's cool to see because he's actually a really, really smart dog. So the last few weeks, we've been trying to introduce him to as many different things as possible. We want him to kind of be normalized with everything that we do in our lives. Our biggest goal is we want to be able to get him on a trailer and be able to ride our bikes with him. That was like something we really wanted to do. So. We actually ended up getting a trailer that we connected to my wife's bike and we put him in there and it went really well for the first time. He sat in there and he was really observant of what was going on around him. He was just looking out the side of the trailer, looking at the front of the trailer and we were excited for our first trip that we're going to be able to make with him. But we got to make sure the weather's got to be just right, the temperature's got to be nice so he's not going to be hot inside the trailer. What's in his mouth? Anything? 
We always got to make sure that we're taking out whatever he's chewing on. Like he's constantly picking things up. I, I just don't trust him yet. So anything like that, I feel like he's just kind of too dumb at this point not to chew on things. So that's pretty amazing that the first time he actually went up the stairs, we were able to capture it on the camera. Like that was a pretty big moment. I'm hoping that now, instead of sitting down there crying, he's going to remember that he can make it up the stairs and he's going to go for it. But check him out. This dude just plays all day. He's just got so much energy. But we've been lucky enough that at nighttime, you know, when we're ready to go to sleep at like 11 o'clock at night, he jumps in his bed and he sleeps all the way until we wake up, which is uh, really cool because the first couple days were kind of tough. He was waking up at 5 a.m. and just starting to cry and run around the house. So I thought that we were going to be stuck in that. But yeah, surprisingly, he jumped on our schedule. So <laughs> it's just so funny how he just wants to be next to us constantly. He just wants to be a part of whatever we're doing. So every single day we bring him on the deck and we just start running a lot trying to get him to get tired out. It actually works. We do like 10 laps back and forth. <laughs> he really enjoys it. He's getting so fast too. One thing's for sure is he's definitely a cuddler. Like he wants to be around us nonstop and my wife is definitely pretty happy about that. So is he everything that you imagined it puppy life would be a couple weeks back when you bought him? Yeah, I just didn't think he would pee as much in the house. He pees a lot in the house. This he is something that we're lot. having a really hard time with. And I, I'm hoping that he's going to get a little bit smarter in the next couple of weeks. Like, he's growing a lot. He still looks like a little puppy, you know. It's not like he looks like a, a regular dog yet. So I'm, I'm letting it slide. But I'm hoping that in the next couple of weeks, he's going to get a little bit bigger, get a little bit smarter, and be able to go outside or at least tell us when he needs to go outside. But besides that... He's been all right. He's been a good dog for the most part. I mean, there's no other complaints that I could really make. Anything else that comes to mind? No, he's a... Ah! Yeah, the biting. And the biting. Biting is annoying, but... but I'm supposed to have a toy right yep, now. Yep, you're supposed to divert him. But that's all he wants, guys. He just wants to play with us and then just cuddle with him. So it's pretty cute to see. Uh, he's definitely exactly what my wife wanted in a puppy. He's more of a good boy than he is a bad boy. He, Such just, a good boy. We just got to get him to stop peeing in the house. And I'm hoping that the bigger that he gets, the smarter he's going to get. And he's going to figure it out in the next couple weeks. But so far, so good, guys. Benny's been an awesome addition to our family. And he's very cute, too. So that's going to be it for our Benny update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just want to thank all of you that commented in the last video. Really appreciate the advice on everything. And uh, yeah, we're excited to see what happens in the next couple of weeks. And we'll definitely keep you posted on everything that happens in this guy's life. I'm especially looking forward to our first bike ride with him. So uh, it looks like he's going to be getting ready to go to sleep right now. And uh, we're going to be signing off. So we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace. Peace.